Hello, and welcome to another episode of LPTV. I'm McKenna Murray. And I'm Kirsten Davis. Have you met the new art teacher, Mrs. Shoning? I haven't, but I've heard that she is really well-liked. Plus, she's a great teacher and really kind. Logan Pruitt and Austin Clare have a look into the life of a teacher. For this feature, instead of doing a student spotlight, we did a teacher spotlight on Miss Shoning. I always wanted to be a teacher. I knew as early as my freshman year in high school that I wanted to be a teacher. I love kids and I love the variety of it and it's challenging and different every day. Um, I can play around with all different kinds of mediums and uh, meet new students every trimester and it's just always fun and it's a new adventure every day. Why? Because you're making a round pot. And making a round pot. Round. That's why I'm making it round, yes. Yep. yep on a round wheel, on a round pot. But why am I preparing it all in the beginning? That way it's easier. Why? That way you don't have to stop doing what you're doing with that one pot and have to make another, and right. have to be Very good. Plus, my hands are dry. What's, what happens if my hands are wet when I'm, it won't stick to the back. Yes, so that's my left thumb. And so my left hand's coming on the outside, it's pushing in, and I'm anchoring my elbows on my legs. So I'm forcing it in from the outside. And you're forcing it up, uh, down with your right hand. Very good. So I'm forcing it down until I've centered it. That's very challenging. Um, I love teaching. I, I want to improve on that every day. And it's challenging because at the end of the day, I, I just want to go home and see my family. So. Balancing the two is, is quite difficult, um, but worth it. In your favorite classes, along with your required classes, appreciate the teachers that help you succeed. This is Logan Pruitt and videographer Austin Clare reporting for LPTV. Hey Kirsten, I need some new ideas for things to do over the weekend. Do you have any? I really love going down to the old market and exploring all the fun shops. That's a great idea. Here are Alana Baskew and Jamie Schiller with things to do on these winter weekends. I know you'd prefer to stay inside and stay warm during these winter months, but there are a lot of things around the Council Plus Omaha area to try. I like to go to the big slides. I go bowling, go to the movies, usually go over to their houses and just hang out. With a variety of shops and restaurants down in the old market, there's something for everyone's interest. I don't know what it's called, but it like, has all the candy and like the movie stuff just because it's like an antique shop kind of. You know, look around and then uh, get candy. I hope you tried one of these ideas during these winter months. Reporting for LPTV, I'm Alana Baskew, photographer Jamie Schiller. Do you have a New Year's resolution? Not this year, but I know many other students do. Let's take a look at some of the different resolutions around AL. Nick Perry and Clayton Ramsdell have this story. Starting out the new year in 2016, many people make New Year's resolutions. Most of the popular New Year resolutions are to get healthy and lose weight, spend more time with family, be less stressed, and many more resolutions. With here, the students have AL to see what their resolutions are. To kind of like eat better and drink more water and exercise a bit more. Keep getting good grades. Stay, uh, just to work on swimming. Just to study harder. Try harder in school. These students explain to us how they will accomplish their resolution. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm basically just like gonna see what I eat at home and drink, carry a water bottle with me at all times. I do it or want to continue the school and I just want to keep doing what I'm doing with my schoolwork and get all my homework done. And uh, I'm going to try going in every day uh, before school to swim. Uh, during the summer, I'm going to try swimming at least once or twice a day if I can. I tend to like study with friends because that seems to help me more because then I remember the questions. Yeah, I got a full trimester or full schedule next trimester, so I got to do my best. These students of AL made New Year's resolutions and then they intend to complete them. If you made a New Year's resolution, we wish you the best of luck to complete your resolution. With videographer Clayton Ramsdale, I'm Nick Perry of for LPTV. Going to Midlands is always the highlight of my week. I love being able to meet so many great animals. Here are the pets we visited for this episode. <laughs> Please. 
Playful and loving, Smokey is a nine-month-old domestic shorthair with a passion for face-to-face -face contact and a love for meeting new people. He loves getting his belly rubbed and his back scratched, continuously making you feel up. If his personality wasn't enough to convince you how great he is, take one look into his gorgeous eyes and you'll be hooked. Norman is a nine-month-old Morky, or a Maltese and Yorkshire Terrier mix. He's a rather active small dog who loves affection. He is a bit goofy and has a love for squeaky toys. Norman is always wagging his tail, enthusiastic to make you happy. When meeting new people, he's keen to make them his friend. Norman, like many dogs, loves to be inside but would love some time outside with other dogs. In February, Midlands Humane Society is opening CB's first off-leash dog park. There's a $50 one-year membership fee for one household up to four dogs. Reporting for LPTV, this is Kirsten Davis with photographer McKenna Murray. I can always go for some fresh Hispanic food. Especially when it's local. Let's go to Taylor Bever and Najin Manji for a glance at Omaha's El Chango. Our very own Paola sophomore at Abraham Lincoln High School spends a lot of her time here at El Chango, where her mom and stepdad runs and owns this restaurant. We are about to head in and find out a little more about their restaurant, El Chango. And um, the weekdays, it's much easier, so. Yeah, I like to have like friends try out our foods and like see if like we're doing good, you know. Uh, sometimes we, well, we usually celebrate our employees' birthdays there just because well, my mom likes to be like loving, you know. We like to bring new, new people in just so like um, we can meet new people, I guess. And it's, it's just fun, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> it's cool though, I like to eat there. <laughs> You know, what happened is I, I used to be a chef at Nero's Casino for 16 years. So I know the, you know, the restaurant, you know, that was how you run restaurants and how they started because I just want to start my own business, you know, and, and grow. Well, usually I see her in the mornings and at night when she comes home, but during the weekends I don't see her that much just because, like, it's busy. I, I, I see the family more. You know, when I work in the casino, you know, I don't, I don't have that time to, for the family, you know, like Christmas, you can have it. <clears throat> but the bottom line, you know, uh, actually I bring like steamed tacos, uh, nobody have it in Omaha, it's a new thing. And I just, I want to, uh, you know, to be more professional every day, you know, to, customer service and all that stuff. You know, I, don't, I, I don't see it that way. You know, when the food's good, they follow you anywhere you go. You know, you can be on the other side of my, but your food is good, service is good, you know, they, they follow you. Uh, 2405 Hickory, right in the corner, Taqueria Chango. Chango means monkey, okay? Don't laugh. <laughs> and I'm the big monkey. El Chango's is a great place to eat. Unlike typical Mexican restaurants, they steam all their meats. This is Ajin Manjin and Taylor Brever reporting for LPTV. This basketball season is going very well. I know, it's great seeing how excited everyone is for the games. Here are Adam Ireland, Kenny Gray, and Moses Morales with the highlights of bowling and basketball. Now we're gonna take a look into the girls and boys varsity basketball team. First up with the girls, the Lady Lynx open up the new year at home against Sioux City Heat. Although it was a close game, the Lady Lynx come out on top 40-38 with Hope Ritchie making both free throws to seal the win over Sioux City East. Up next was the boys varsity basketball team. Kyle Crow had 28 on the night and was 5 of 8 from the 3 point line. The boys win at home with the score being AL 73, Sioux City East 52. The next game at 
home will be on Friday against Bishop Healing. With the videography work of Moses Morales, I'm Kenny Gray, signing off of LPTV. Now we will strike our way into bowling. Lindy Halfkey finished the game with a score of 220. This is Adam Ireland reporting for LPTV. That's all for this time. Keep a lookout for our next episode. From all the staff at LPTV, thanks for watching.